All right, so now I've entered in the, uh, the volumes and it is asking me for the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, so that's something that I need to calculate. The molarity, um, I'm just going to pull up Excel here and the uh, molarity um, I'm going to calculate based on my um, mass of KHP, okay? So this top value is the mass of KHP that I've used, right? So that's my standard point uh, 4884 for the first um, problem. So point 4884, that's my uh, grams of KHP. Okay. Let me magnify this a little bit. All right. So, um, what uh, what we're going to do now is convert this into moles. Okay. So, um, the lab guide tells me that there are two hundred and four point two grams per mole. Okay, so I'll set it up kind of like this and um, let me just arrange this a little bit. All right, so um, okay, so I have 0 0.4884, now my grams will cancel that'll give me moles. All right. So that's moles of the KHP. Um, and in fact, I should probably uh, specify that in there, moles of KHP. And then next, I know that it's one mole of KHP to one mole of sodium hydroxide. All right, so um, that's my mole ratio. It'll look something like that. So that's the, now I have the moles of sodium hydroxide because these um, other units have canceled. I can go ahead and um, show them as being canceled out, all right? So there's moles, and I'm going to divide that by the volume that I use, the volume of the sodium hydroxide solution, okay? That volume was that difference that I calculated, the 24.72, okay? So 24.72, and that was milliliters. Okay, but I need that in uh, in liters, all right? So, and uh, you can just put a one there if you want to see a value. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we need to convert that, and you can do this um, by just moving the decimal place, but uh, either way it should look like uh, it'll work out the same way either way if you just move the decimal place. But uh, here my milliliters will cancel and I'll have liters. Okay. So now I'm just going to calculate this out and what I get is um, this will be 0.4884 and then it's times one, times one, times one, so I don't have to enter those, but times a thousand divided by 204.2 and divided again by 24.72, okay? So there is my um, calculated molarity. Let me move this over so it will show me 
to, to um, four significant figures, there is my molarity. Okay, so this is the molarity of sodium hydroxide, 0 0.09675. All right, so now I go over to Chem 21 and put that in, 0 0.09675, I believe, was it? Yes. Oop. If I can get to it, okay. And you'll notice it tells me that it is correct. Okay, so that's how you um, calculate the molarity. Um, start with the mass of KHP, convert that to moles, then to moles of sodium hydroxide, and that's the top part. Remember, molarity is moles over liters. And so now we have the moles, we just divide that by the volume then um, in liters to get the molarity, the moles per liter, okay? Now, the nice thing about Excel is I can just put in uh, my values. Um, I can just adjust those, 0.4790. And that part is going to stay the same, and here... I have 25.59, um, sorry, 22.68 is the second one, and it automatically tells me my new molarity there, 0 0.1034. I only want four significant figures. Um, actually, this uh, is telling me, if I look at the um, tolerance, that's what this TOL is. It says plus or minus one in the third significant figure. So um, you'll notice, though, it took the four significant figures. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in as a 0 0.1, what was it, 0 0.034. Okay, so it should take that. Right. Now, it's asking for the average molarity um, of the uh, NaOH. Okay, the average molarity is just going to be um, the average of these three values. So 0 0.09675. Um, I'll go ahead and add these in here, and the um, second one was 0 0.1034, okay, so if I, um, if I uh, add these together, handy feature in Excel, is I can just sum them up, and there's my sum, and I can divide that by 3, Okay, and there's my average. Um, I can also just take this and go equals average and then select those three and it will give me um, that number uh, directly. Okay, so 0 0.1001, I'm going to round that to 0 0.1001 for significant figures. If I put that in here, then there we go.